Hey folks, BFG Neil here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new SenseCap M2 hotspot. So I've got one in my possession, it's a data-only version, but SenseCap have been amazing and sent me a preview unit basically. As I said, this is a data-only version, so it has some hardware missing. For example, the new SenseCap M2 options have LTE, whereas this one's just a data-only hotspot. So it's the same hardware you can expect in your light hotspots basically when they go on sale. There's a new case, new antenna, and some interesting options I think you folks are going to like. Before we get going, over 80% of you aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you could give this channel a subscribe, it really does help. And maybe like this video. Uh, I'm going to set a likes target, so I was wondering if we can hit 50 likes for this video. Okay, let's get started. So up first, let's have a look what's in the box. So this has just arrived on my desk. So the first thing I thought I'd do is open it up and show you what comes in the box. We have the new M2 hotspot, a new antenna and an antenna mount. Uh, one thing to note about this unit is PoE is built in. So it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of the great features I like about newer hotspots is that they have PoE. So, you know, obviously here you can see that they sent me an American plug, but I just don't have to bother with it. You know, I've got a PoE um, switch that I just feed off. And as you may have previously heard about light hotspots, this is actually running on a 580 megahertz processor with 128 megs of RAM. It's also got onboard flash of 32 megabytes and the LoRa card's an SX1302, so it can do up to 26 dBm of power. And the other thing to note is the PoE, it's um, 8023AF. And now this is a new antenna. It's actually a 3 dBi antenna, but the actual size of it is pretty good. And it also comes with this nice mount as well. So it looks like it performed well and it feels much more substantial than some of the previous antennas I've seen. And as you can see, the cable looks pretty thick and this antenna mounts as well. So it's branded sense cap, but it looks really, really nice. And here are the input options for the M2. You've got power, ethernet with, with PoE, a console port, which is USB-C, a reset button, nano SIM, micro SD, and then some status lights. And over on the other side, we have what looks like a reset switch and the antenna port. So in the box is this nice user manual from SenseCap, but they also give you a nice way to write and secure your 12 words. So when you do this, make sure you obviously keep it somewhere safe and not leave it out in the open, but it's a great idea to write your 12 words down. And the user manual just, just explains everything about the hotspot. I mean, the one thing of note here, it says about the reset button, you know, if you double click it, it will trigger a software reboot. If you press it down for five seconds, it will turn configuration mode on with Bluetooth. And if you press it for 30 seconds, it actually resets the miner. So being able to go somewhere and push a button like that is fantastic. And it just means, you know, ease of use that so you don't have to connect to the host Wi-Fi or run any remote things on it. You can just push it from a button and get it in most states that you need to do it in. I mean, one thing to note is that, you know, like hotspots won't need much changing to them. So the amount of times that you actually have to do a factory reset, uh, you know, maybe you press it once if you're not sure, but generally it's nice to have the option there. And that's it for this first look video. So let me know your thoughts on the unit. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Drop a comment below and we can talk about it. And I'm happy to do a follow-up video. So if there's anything in particular you want to see, just let me know. Bye for now.